Yo, what's going on guys? So today I've got for you a quick uh, video. I know we kind of touched on this earlier on one of my live streams. Link's on the screen right now. Uh, anyway, so I've got with me today Mr. Night and Day himself. You can kind of see him on the left, but but not really because he's, he's kind of glitching out over there. Uh, anyway, so you can see behind me there an awesome build that we uh, had done here. Completely funded by Miragecraft Polka Coins. Shout out to uh, that rocks guy for funding that. Um, yeah, you want to pop up there, Night and Day? I don't I forget where... Oh, oh, hey! Yeah, get wrecked. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what's up? So tell, me some, tell me a bit about the build. What do we got in the go here? So, uh, like you said, you know, you wanted the uh, whole, like, mansion modern theme. Um, basically, I took a few images off of Google, and you also provided me with some images, and I kind of just went off from that. But honestly, most of it was just from what I wanted to do. It wasn't even from the pictures. So, you know, it's kind of hard to do modern, too, because it's so static. Right. And there's not a lot of palette complexity in it, so it's made up of only three base blocks but i mean i think it came out fairly well to be honest yeah i mean it looks pretty sick i mean what's this a windmill is this a windmill yeah <clears throat> yeah we got the windmill right here i just thought it'd be kind of like a nice added touch to it because i mean you have to have modern technology with the modern house so right is it's it, just now, kind does of this a, work uh it doesn't work i wish we could do that the mechanics aren't technically there but there's parkour inside which is kind of a okay, another cool. bonus it's a pretty expensive windmill there. It's made of uh, entirely out of uh, quartz. Quartz, yeah. It was. Pr I think the windmill alone was sixty thousand. Jesus, it's more than I make in a year. <laughs> All right, where do we start the parkour at here? Is it right here? Uh, it's actually kind of hidden. You actually have to start on the iron bars. What the hell? Oh, my bell. Kind of parkour is this? Not lit up parkour apparently. This parkour is darker than I don't even know. Post in the comments how dark this uh, parkour course is, <laughs> and just imagine some of the stupid comments now. Oh, look at that shameless self promotion by Buzz in the chat there. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. I probably should have been like, hey, what up? But anyway. Um, okay, and I'm almost done with parkour, actually. Yeah, it's pretty easy at, like, the center. I kind of got lazy and stopped, but, um, again, you know, it's just for kind of, like, an added bonus. All right, I'm at the top. Woo! Definitely didn't fly all the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the, the the attention to detail, though, up here. Like, even with the, the, the hardened clay going out as, like, part of the windmill, so... Yeah, you know, we try to keep it as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Lit. What is this? Uh, is this a gate? Is this this a is a generator. Oh, it's a generator. Oh, We're an attempt at a generator and some power lines because Wait, I really wanted this. to take advantage of the uh, that like weird pillared block for Pixelmon, which pillar? looks so nice. Yeah. Yeah, it does look beautiful there, but uh, honestly, wow, that's the fact that you use that for that is is so surprising. I honestly would not have even thought of using it for that. That's pretty sick. Um, and do the lights are the lights inside next to one of the generators, or how does that look? Okay. Uh, it was kind of just more of just for the look. I didn't really put them in any particular order. I wanted to do the build like all redstone. But the problem with that is you need to do a a five scale build. Five scale essentially means that you have an inner, a split, and two outers. So we'll, well, technically two inners and three splits, which is a five scale. So that means that you can have multiple layers of redstone inside of a wall. That would have right. put this build on a six times scale what it is now. So it would have been Jeez. six times bigger. So I decided that was not logical. <laughs> yeah, not worth the, the time and effort to just kind of do that. <clears throat> Alright, let's take a, a quick look there. Let's go inside and explore a little bit. Where are we going? Oh, is this the door? Yeah, I put the doors on the side because I didn't really want to ruin like the whole garage thing that I had going. So. I see. Uh, too bad for this car accident here. What happened to Snowplow? Just kind of take out the rest <laughs> of the road? Yeah, rip. Rip Get road. Get by a new driveway. Rip road, rip life. Oh, okay, just close the door on me. 
Nice pressure <laughs> plate. I see. All right, what's this? Is this another door? Okay. Alrighty, where are we going? Up here or in here? Yeah, we did that down here is more just like, um, because like there wasn't a lot of chests upstairs. If someone actually wanted to stay here and like use it as a real like location, it'd be kind of hard to do that upstairs. So I've just put those chests down there. All right, I'm gonna follow you. So just take me where you want to take me. This is the uh, the home theater. We got what's playing uh, on this week's schedule and what's coming soon. Okay, okay, I like it. Some nice little like front desk booth and oh, it's wow. actually sitable, oh, wow. which is nice. Oh wow, what is this? This is oh my goodness. Can we get an actual movie going here? Like oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty sick. Yeah, it came out alright. I was just trying to fill up the space with as much rooms as I could. Alrighty, where to next? Uh, this is just kind of like the uh, like main hallway. Yeah, I, tried, I like that too. The you'll see like chairs. these like areas with the uh, nether rack, obviously. And it was trying to go in for like that, like, you know, electronic heater type thing where, you know, it's like behind the blue glass and it all looks all nice and whatever it, it came out okay i would have liked to have done it on a bigger scale but again it's space is limited right exactly and now are these supposed to be ch i know these are chairs but are they supposed to be chairs or are they what are they yeah they are chairs it's okay. just for to try to fill the space because modern when you do modern interior everything has to be sort of static but complex at the same time so everything's right. in a specific spot at the same time as being random, it, it, which is kind of hard to do at some points. Look at that 360, you like that? That was pure skill, son. Pure skill. I trained nice for little... six months to be able to be a professional diver. Check me out, ready? <laughs> oh god, I just broke your neck. Nah, just my leg, I'm good to go. I'll just kind of hobble along the rest of the way, here we go. <laughs> so we'll head upstairs. Oh wow, I didn't even see the staircase, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, this is kind of like the, uh, just kind of another help desk area. Okay. Uh, upstairs, another set of ladder okay. stairs. We have the control room for the, the helipad, which is on top, and the landing strip. Okay, we got a little nice. map here, too. Nice, nice. I'm digging it. That's actually sick. Yeah, it's a nice little touch. Taking that actually, this is my map now. The whole reason I put, like, usually you would just do grass, as you'll see later. Uh, grass on the roofs is usually how you texture that. But I put a landing strip because I thought it'd be kind of fun for the people that have flying Pokemon. You could just, like, land there. Okay, so that's what that is. To be honest with you, I had no idea what that was, but I didn't want to be like, oh, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Yeah, that's it's, it's cool. hard to tell because, again, the scales are so... <laughs> small that everything kind of just looks there <laughs> right but i mean hey i mean once you you kind of know about it it looks pretty sick uh and when you look at it on the map it definitely makes more sense <clears throat> yeah the map makes it look way better what's behind us there right below is that like a, a forest or like a what do we got there where so we got the land and strip in front of us there and then right below the helicopter oh, oh god <laughs> what are you doing don't press that <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about the black thing next to it? Yeah, uh, like, yeah, I guess. Oh, we'll get to that. Not, not the black thing next to that. So if you're looking at where the helicopter pad is, where we are, yeah, um, right below that on the map. Oh yeah, we'll get to that too. <laughs> all right, all right. There's a lot of stuff to see. All right, let's see it all. We only got four hours though. So I think this is what you were talking about. Um, oh god. Here, let me show you how. Let me yeah. show you how. There, Bazinga. God. <clears throat> This is like the tanning area, just kind of... Oh, uh, okay, yeah, you know, this was what I was talking about. Yeah, that's sick. <clears throat> that, get your tan on, you know? <laughs> nice. And then we'll head to the three-bedroom. I don't know how you're supposed to get down on this side, though. Check, look at this. Ah, oh, you know, some uh, technical difficulties. <laughs> I demand a we refund. We got the, the great ballroom, which is... Pretty much the same as the Pokeball room, but it's great. I think it has a different called flower. Yeah, it's got a red flower. It's more special. Oh man, this has got a yeah. This is my room. Then nobody is ever allowed in there ever again. 
Ever. The pork ball flower room. Okay. And is the master ball room this or whatever was the safari? That's a safari ball, I believe. <laughs> oh wow. It's a little bit bigger. You got yourself a trash can, you know. Here, I'm gonna change this up just I'm gonna make one change here. Zynga. Oh, fancy. Yeah, yeah. Kinky. So now we'll head back downstairs. This area, I was kind of unsure what I wanted to do, so I kind of just made it like a lounge, like, yeah, like a balcony area. type thing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. At first, I thought the pool was out there when I was standing here like this, but uh, it's a nice, got a nice view, especially at that windmill. Yeah. I was going to add, like, next to the uh, propellers of the windmill, I was going to add glass to make it look like it was spinning, but the problem with that is, is you have to have, like, placement blocks everywhere and it just it would just take too long fair enough so you got your nice kitchen dining room area here it's on deck look at that well oh, i like the i like the use of the fridge too could work on that now if i can close that back again mm. yeah you took you really took advantage of the pixelmon blocks in this and that's what we don't really see very often with uh builds so i, I really like that yeah, I would have liked to have put, like, display cases around, but I can't seem to make them, so I was like, no, that's too bad. <laughs> like the fossil cases? Yeah. I, I can't seem to make them, so... This isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll head to the two master bedrooms. Oh, wow, there's more bedrooms? Yeah, I got the elite ballroom. <laughs> kind of nice a little bit bigger there's no windows but you know i like the i like the use of this umbrella just in case it's a rainy day oh now, yeah now is this bad luck because it's open indoors or what i think it, that's up for interpretation <laughs> <laughs> oh you did it twice oh my goodness it's gonna <laughs> actually there's an umbrella in every room <laughs> you know what no Shh. <laughs> uh what? most of the <laughs> I don't know. What I place that did hurt you. <laughs> I must become a fossil. One of us, one of us. So a lot of the lights you'll see have switches on them. Um, normally I would have done... I don't know why that's not changing, but... Eh, okay. <laughs> uh, usually I'd have done like redstone to keep it look, look all this, this. the same, but... <clears throat> I took the light switch off it in its entirety. <laughs> yeah. That's really strange. Oh god, destroying the crap! Well, wow, you can't me. you can't break the build, bro. Oh god. Here, here, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, I got it. <laughs> you know what? Fight me. I gotta back. get back down to you, though. Now I made this place I can't freely walk around. Ah, oh, god. I think you forgot about the teleportation commands. Hey, I was placing that. I was <laughs> placing that. Anyway, so now that's fixed. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> we'll fix that All right, later we got, in post We got the pool. The pool down here. The three door pool. Nice, nice. Yeah, I just wanted to. Again, if someone wanted to live here and they just had their house open, it would be kind of unfortunate. I'm drowning. But I'm drowning. I'm gonna this die. is the, the hot tub or an attempt at a hot tub. <laughs> okay, no. Where's the hot at? No fire? I don't know. You could have just literally. And they have fire and water. It doesn't really work that way. You should have just but... put a sign that said Rocks Mixtape, you know? It could have been some, an awesome uh, hot tub. Pure fire. Some really Is fancy rock formation. Oh, nice, nice. I can really tell the, the quality of the material you used to build that. <laughs> <laughs> I did another pool, but it was kind of more like I was trying to recreate the pools that they have on, like, mountains. It's kind of like a. I don't know the exact name for it, but they flow into a lower pool. Okay, I was right. To do like, that with this other one. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like they're kind of like water fountains. Yeah. The top hat bar open twenty four seven. Sounds like my type of bar. Yeah, so you can fly your Pokemon in, and you know, come over to the. All right, now make sure you make sure if you're having a drink at the bar, make sure you're not flying your Pokemon after. <laughs> <clears throat> don't be drinking and flying, yeah. kids. If you fly, you get a ticket. <laughs> ticket or, cl or click it or ticket, I guess. Yeah. Ticket or click it. That is the new rule. If you if you click your seatbelt, you're getting a ticket. And then uh, I, I kind of just put some. I tried to keep this room as 
similar as possible because you know restaurants gotta have that you know that lure it's got like the fancy pictures and stuff right you know it's a bar you know get lit anyway uh what else we gotta see here uh the last place i believe there is is the dance club oh shit what up where's that i, made, I have to censor myself in this video i made a top hat because <laughs> it's the top hat bar and club but oh dear <laughs> You're about five blocks off. Look, there you go. Now it's a top half. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, that's, that's about it. I mean, besides the other detailing that I did, that's kind of hard to point out. Like, the trees. I custom did four trees on the front to do palm trees. Where at? Where are you at? Where'd you go? Kind of give it... A different feel than the regular trees they got going on. Okay, so you did do these trees by yourself. Nice, nice. Yeah, the forefront trees. That's lit. We don't have any coconuts, so I I could have used cocoa beans, but they don't really look like coconut, like real, you know. Yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like yeah. fruit. So I just kind of went with a. A lighter texture. Well, block. if you if you wanted to use like a, a fruit on the tree or something, you could have just asked me to give you a, a copy of your Minecraft head. Ooh, got him. <laughs> <laughs> I am a fruit. Pretty weird. But... I don't know. You look kind of like your, your, your character. I like the glasses on those. Now, did you custom make those glasses? Uh, no. It just looks similar to myself. Oh, okay. It was for this. It was for my stream, so I could like look like myself. Oh God. Lit. That way you don't need a face cam, you can just be like, look at my Minecraft skin, bro. That was, that was a few years ago. You know, Is my sand... And... Oh, I put a Santa hat on my Minecraft skin, but he's still not there, so I'm just... I've given up at this point. Oh yeah, we didn't see this. What is this? It's the oh, landing. Yeah, this is the landing pad. I was gonna do an actual helicopter, but the problem is I textured... Um, I, I, I would have to texture it similar to the build, and that would be really unfortunate because I wouldn't look well. <clears throat> but it would have been kind of cool to have, like, fly over here and then, like, walk into a helicopter over here, but... Yeah, that it would have been lit. Alright, so, is yeah. there anything else left the show, then? <clears throat> nope, that's about it. Alright, then. Well... Um, as as I mentioned to you then at the beginning of the start of the build, but uh, and I kind of alluded to this on stream as well. I'm gonna give away this house to somebody, um, one of the Minecraft Mirage Craft players. So all you have to do to enter um, is once you make a donation to the server, any person who uses the Xmas uh, 16 code there, you're automatically entered to win this dream mansion. Um, it comes with everything that's here, including the cherished ball. So you'll have the second cherished ball on the server. There's only one other person that has one. So congratulations to whoever wins that. Um, as well, you'll also get a free copy of Night and Day's uh, face. Uh, <laughs> let me see what else comes with this build. Oh yeah, um, you also get a perfect IV beldum in Wonder Trade for the chat. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks very much for your time there, Knight. Uh, everything looks good to go. Um, did you have any other anything else you wanted to say? Mm, hire me as a builder if you need someone to hire. <laughs> yeah, his. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw your Mirage Craft link in the description there too. So if you guys need some builds done, you can check that out. All right. Well, thanks very much. Take care. See ya. Slip. Peace.